the shop I'm planning to send it to just said take all the covers off and send me a long block, uh, which means I need to pull the timing cover and the harmonic balancer. And uh, as a point of note, the uh, harmonic balancer is pretty well stuck. It may have some rust too, so I'm going to treat it with penetrating oil here a bit and let it sit. Um, I've got a flywheel holder holding the flex plate and locking that down. But um, I was having trouble getting the uh, balancer to come loose. So I greased up everything really well, got it all set, um, got out my big breaker bar and started pulling on it and it went pop and I thought cool it's loose but the reality of life is that I didn't pop the balancer loose I popped see if we can see if we can see this here um, I popped the threads on my harmonic balancer tool. So, as you can see, the, the threads in this section right in here are pretty much missing. And so, I haven't got the balancer off yet. My next job is, I have another one of these in my shop at home that I think may be a better quality one. Uh, but I'm not sure who made this one. Uh, but. I'm going to try a different one, and if I break that one, uh, there are some very high quality ones out there that um, I may have to get a get something stronger. Um, figured that balancer will come off in about 10 minutes, and it took me two hours and uh, broke my tools. So that's all for right now. I'm going to take another shot at this harmonic balancer with a different puller than I got my hands on to, we'll say, borrowed from uh, AutoZone. And it's a little different arrangement. It has a nicer, um, bigger screw and a heavier body and a bearing underneath it. So we're going to see how this works. This should hold that side. Which is a 
pleasant surprise. Feels like it's just about off. This is a remover installer. And they give a 90 day, you can borrow a tool from them for 90 days with just a deposit. So, it's the first time I've ever done that, but we're going to see how it works. But anyway, so, anyhow, um, this is the puller. You can see three bolts. The puller comes with, a, with all the bolts. Um, but what's unique about this one, or what's different, say from the, the kind of cheap standard one that I had is you have this big machine steel plate and it's got a bearing in here, a roller bearing and this is the adapter that goes into the nose of the crank and it threads in and out so you can take it out and then for the installation uh, there's a threaded piece that you can put in here that you can thread into the end of the crankshaft and we'll flip the tool around and we'll be able to pull that uh, balancer back on. But the size of the screw and the size of the part came off really easy when uh, the other inexpensive tool I had was uh, quite a fight. So. Success! Very good. <laughs> 